I have to take some time away from the build because we have to put those gates in for our dogs so we can let them out once and for all because it's time. So, and then, you know, we'll just keep our fingers crossed until we're able to uh, put an electric fence in addition to the four foot fencing uh, because they'll jump the four feet easily. They're very, very large dogs. So, um, they have no problem jumping that fence, especially since it's so flimsy. But I'm going to be running an electric line, a couple of them, top and bottom. Uh, but until we do that, we're just going to keep our fingers crossed that they won't jump. You can buy these at Home Depot Lowe's. They're in the outdoor section. Uh, they're used for landscaping. And what it basically is, is a three by four post. So it is, and it's treated. It's very, very heavy duty, very tough, and it will cost you a fraction of a four by four. So if you price them out, you'll see what I'm talking about. They're eight feet long, so they're plenty long. And uh, I'm going to be using this. It has two flat sides and two rounded sides. So I'm going to use the flat side to mount my, uh, my hinges. So, um, and then we'll just have a gate swing outward toward where the garden will be and the cabin at some point. Um, we're just playing, it is winter time, so, you know, we're working with the weather, we're working with, you know, the unpredictable uh, weather that we get in the mountains, particularly this time of year. So, one day it's sunny and then the next it's raining. And we had some really big downpours yesterday, really big. So, um, all right, I'm going to continue, get this done. And I have to do this gate, then I have to do two more gates. Uh, I have to do one by the driveway to go out to the mail so that we can get in and out easily without opening the big, large gates. And then uh, we're going to have to put another gate on the other side so that we can we can contain the dogs around the cabin and they'll be able to they got plenty of room they'll be able to walk around all the way to the orchard and all around here so for the time being that is how we're going to do it and then uh, in the future uh, we'll expand the fencing on the back side as I mentioned previously and then they'll have even that much more to roam around try and wear my gloves because my hands are all chipped and cracked from the weather and from working and I kind of have like a little bit of a condition I think with these um, my the corners of my fingers cracking I don't know if any of you ever had that it's very painful and I mean they they're pretty large and deep so they're starting to heal but uh, it's like you know as soon as they start healing I'm back using my hands doing construction and stuff and then they rip again so I try to put band-aids but they don't stay on not when you're doing things and working and moving around and using your hands a lot like I do so band-aids don't really work I've been using like even like duct tape <laughs> by the way guys when it comes to footings uh, we're in southern Virginia in our area the frost line is between 20 to 24 inches, not 32 like some places. Uh, some places when it's really cold, it could be up as much as four feet, but here it's only about two feet at best. So I'm going to dig this one a little bit deeper because I want it to be in there really good and strong. So I might try to go down about three feet regardless, just like I did for the carporting here over the barn that we built some time back. Um, I did three foot holes for those. We got 24 inch holes for the project of the cabin. Uh, and uh, this should be more than enough. Like I said, it's well within the frost line, uh, you know, so uh, the depth that, we, that is required. We're going to keep some secrets from you guys once again. 
because we want you to be surprised. We want you to have to feel like you're looking forward to the next video when it comes to this cabin build. So you can see what we've got going on because uh, we decided to make some changes to our plans concerning the build. And what we're going to do is something, uh, it's going to be a larger project than we initially uh, thought. Uh, mostly we want to have outdoor space and we mentioned this in previous videos. Uh, matter of fact, take a look at this clip from a video that was taken about a year ago. There's some level spots in through here too, which, you know, if we could use all the level spots that would be great, even for like an outbuilding. I think that would be really nice. Yeah. Put a few raised beds around, some walking paths, some sitting areas. Like you said, a couple of outbuildings. Maybe a little gazebo. I definitely love the idea of keep adding, you know, and yeah. adding to the homestead and just building it up with, you know, a little outbuilding here, a little outbuilding there, maybe a larger one here and there. A little We'll see. A little at a time. Maybe we'll do an addition on the house someday, you know. So. As you can see, this is something that we had planned for a long time, ever since we moved into the property. And we want to be able to feel like we have a multitude of outbuildings and we can have storage space because we don't have any right now. The little shed is full um, and we have uh, a lot of things that need to come out of the cabin and they need to be put in storage, but we don't have any storage. And under the crawl space, I don't want to start storing things underneath there. It's very hard to get in and out of our crawl space, and it still needs to be uh, cleaned up a bit more down there. We're, we don't really want to put anything. We've had critters down in there, mice and so on, and snakes and spiders. and So we don't want to put things down there. Um, but uh, I think we'll be able to store a lot of things in the new uh, building that we're doing uh, also underneath crawl space because we'll have crawl space plenty of it so we'll be able to have storage underneath there maybe in bins and things like that plastic bins so um, and we could also store other things like maybe some feed for our animals for the long term uh, we just don't have enough storage. Even the barn is very limited. I mean, we're very, very, very limited with storage here. So, with that in mind, we have decided to do something different here. We want to have our own compound. We want to have everything laid out in such a way that we have, you know, different buildings, outbuildings, uh, maybe a few cabins. Maybe we'll build a couple, you know, bushcraft cabins in the woods later on. And, and mainly for us and for our guests when they come to visit, because Pink has kids that are in their 30s and they still enjoy, they love the outdoors, they love to camp. They like to be able to come and spend time in one of our cabins. And, you know, you never know for the future what we're gonna do.
Screws. That's good, so it's perfect. Yeah, and then we just wrap the chain around here, right? You like it? Yeah, I like it a lot. Good. Very simple. Two by four and one on one side, one on the other. Two by twos all the way around. Couple in the middle. This is uh, 90 inches long by four feet high, this, fan, this gate. And then I have a cross brace. I messed up on the cuts a little, but you know. I'm not worried about it. Uh, I did it very quickly. On my knees, on a wet deck, uh, in the cold weather with wind, gusts, <laughs> and everything. So, um, the only other thing I want to do is I want to, I have some uh, around, I think, hooks in the house. I have to go look for them. And I'm going to screw them in here and they have like a, a ring, a, 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 like a loop. In the back of it and then I'm going to put like uh, some thick uh, gauge wire from this uh, root loop to the post here T post and close this gap so I'm gonna run like wire across this way by tying this to here it will give it that much more it will hopefully pull this back a little see how the fence moves so if I can get this tight enough from here to here, I'll be able to put some tension and hold the two together. It'll be a win-win situation and it'll keep this post from tipping over. Uh, but the gate isn't that heavy. So anyway, I put a staple on every single joint. I staple every single one. I wanted to make sure it's nice and strong. And this is... Um, the closer small smaller hole uh, fencing it's not the same fencing that we use for here uh, it's a little bit better and the holes are smaller so um, it makes it pretty stiff I'm pretty satisfied I wanted to do something quick and simple and there it is and we can swing it open we have 90 inches of width 
to work with if we need to get things in and out of here and um, so there now the animals are contained hopefully as far as this side is concerned after I put the wire here and then now Pink and I are going to try and build two more gates because we're not baby. done yet Tell me now. Oh, he just took off. He's growing. He's getting bigger. No doubt, he is getting bigger. He's beautiful. No horns. Is very domesticated, very docile. Yes. I would say exactly. Well mannered. Very, very docile and well mannered. He's gonna and be an excellent buck. Yeah, he doesn't smell. Well, he doesn't smell yet. Well, yet, but you know. But he's going, to we'll make see. A good, he's going to make a good buck. He's going to make an excellent breeding buck. Yes, I think he's so. He's going to carry on the, the no horns trait for us. Trait for us, which is better. Yes, no horns is definitely better for us. So, the chickens are all doing good. Update to Mr. Shuffles, guys, over here. He is getting his tail back. So, that's fantastic. You can see if he lets me swing around here. He's getting his tail back. Yeah, you Slowly can see the saddle, fe in. the saddle feathers are starting to yeah. lift up and over. Yep. See that? It's great. It's not all red and bloody like he used to be. So yeah. much better. Look how much better he looks. Fantastic. He's such a good And most of the chest. chickens got their feathers back except for a couple of the reds. Two that or three. One. That one red. That one there. She's is, just getting. Oh, her she's feathers. getting hers. I see them coming in. Yeah, she's. You can only see. This like, one's starting maybe. You I can, can see. A yeah, yeah. that yep everybody's doing good everybody's doing good and mm -hmm. happy okay hi violet hi violet and then there's mama daisy with chip daisy. no dale. dale the black and white one is chip yeah and then that's dale he looks just like domino <laughs> so cute yeah we have two more, we have two more. so we're not done yet square that gives me four feet I need a cross brace so for the cross brace I'm going to put a board run a board from there from the corner from that corner to this corner right here and I'm going to mark it That's where it's going to get cut. Right there. Close enough. I need one in the middle for strength.
Hi, love. I love you, baby. I love you, too. I'm trying to pay a little more attention than I did with the last one. And again, I'm not trying to make it perfect. Functionality. But, um, All we need is functionality. Yeah. yeah. Let me see here. Because I had a mark. I thought I marked it. What did I do? I mark it again. Screw it all together and I'm done. And put the screen on it and we are done. So, all right, let's get some screws. This is the kind of stuff that really does a number on my back. It's all this bending. And I don't have a work table because I don't have a workshop. I used to. And eventually, I like to put up an outbuilding somewhere on the property so that I can have like a workshop, do my woodwork. Because I love woodworking. And then this way the dogs won't try to sneak around to get out. When we right. Try to, you know, get the mail, whatever. Mm -hmm. Open like this. Right, because we can use our body to block us. the opening and then close it behind us, right? Yeah, we can still just reach in and just do this. Yeah, that's perfect. Pretty good. Considering we got pallets over here. Domino, you ready to come inside? Ready to come inside? He's like my dog. <laughs> Finished. We're going to let the dogs out. And then we'll work on some more tomorrow. On it on some more tomorrow. We have to put the electric line on top. We're not going to connect it yet, but I think that's going to fool them. So that's what we're going to try and do. Elephant syndrome. And yeah, elephant syndrome. They're going to be so excited. Right there just proves elephant syndrome works. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good girl, Rhea. Hi, Cooper. Oh, straight in. 
Yes. And the animals look, and look. the dogs are free. Cooper so goes so straight, straight to the house. Look, look at them. They're like, oh, wow, we're free. Oh, now they go catch up to them and see what they're going to do. Awesome sauce. They're like, hey, that's our rug. How about that? They're just checking out the perimeter. She's looking for weak points, you know. Oh. Like, okay. oh, oh. Wait a minute. I can't get out there. Oh, yeah, that's what I, I, I thought there was an opening around here somewhere. Yeah, she's like, she's like, I thought there was an opening. Well, hi, baby. Hi, baby. Oh, here comes Jealous. Hi, baby. Oh, love this dog. Oh, hi, Cooper. <laughs> hi, buddy. Oh, look at you. Yay! Run, hi, Ray, buddy. run. Look, baby, she's so happy. She's hi, running. Baby. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. And they're happy. And that, though, obviously, I can only, if I do one thing, I'm not going to be able to do the other. So the cabbing is on hold for the time being. Because the animals are most important. We have more footings coming. Uh, a lot more footings. So we're not anywhere near done. We're just getting started. Okay. And the dogs are free. All right. And hopefully they'll stay and they won't try to jump. And, you know, one can only hope. Yeah, one can only hope. We'll take Rhea and get her chipped in the next few days as soon as we have an opportunity. I know <laughs> some of you guys have been like, oh, got to let the dogs out. And they have to stay in there for a while so they could get used to everything. And uh, in the meantime, we've had the opp an opportunity to finish our fencing, and now right. they're free. And it's we've only had them now for a month, four weeks. So they got used to the property by staying in their little pen area, yeah. and now they're going to get used to this part of the perimeter, right. and then eventually we'll be able to let them out further as we gain trust with them and they gain trust with us. You know, the whole key is to keep them as happy as they can be so they never want to leave. Exactly. Yes. So this is great. This makes me happy. Yeah. It makes me happy. And cuts no. everywhere. Your hands. Yeah. I have cuts everywhere. Every single finger has one, two, three cuts on them. It's horrible. Look at this. Cut there, cut there, cut there, cuts there, cut there in the corner that's trying to heal. The one there is trying to heal. I got uh, in the corner here, in the corner over here. Uh, what else? This one over here. Yeah, it's horrible. Uh, so, yeah, it's very, very, very hard to work because. And then the, the I freezing. Have to use my fingers. You have to use your fingers, right? And hopefully she won't be digging holes. But. You know, well, I think now we'll too she she has more space to run. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. She won't be so bored. Okay. You guys happy? Okay. Now they have an understanding of the perimeter and where the limits are. Yeah. We're checking it out. I don't think they'll jump. They've been here long enough now. They know this is their home. Yeah. They love it here. Yeah. They get good food. They get good love. Good love. Okay. They get treats. They get bowls. Look, she's like, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> so, Hi, she's like, thank you, Daddy. Hi, thank baby. you. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, you are. Oh, sweet baby. You sweet baby. She's yeah. beautiful. Sweet baby. <laughs> she wants she's, to play. She's yeah, so happy. she's so happy. She's out. She's got room to run. They can chase each other. They can play. 
I'll finish cleaning up tomorrow. We'll remove all of the wood from back there and all of the, you know, everything that's Yeah, the around. trash, whatever we need to pick up. We'll we do a little burn. To, we got done kind of late. The sun's setting. We just wanted to get them out today just so they can enjoy a little bit. Right. And then uh, tomorrow we'll finish. We'll run the lines for the archery fencing. So they'll, they're done. We have them done. And then when we can, we'll get the... Uh, you know, the little box, power box with a solar panel like we have over there, and we'll do that. I think they'll be happy. He's not even trying to sneak under the gates no. or anything. <laughs> They're like, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Cooper. See, they can run. They can run. It's great. Real quick here, we did a little gate here. We put three hinges, little hinges right there. And um, we can still lock our big gate right there through the hole. And then here we have the, yeah, go ahead and show them, Pinky. Look at that. Ooh. We want to close it behind us, we just go like that, and it's perfect. Yeah. And, and then the chain doesn't interfere with anything. Right, and pink will stain it. Yeah, and, I, want to, um, I want to paint it the whole thing red yeah, like that. Right, and then later on we'll stain all the palettes and everything as well. Make him look a little prettier. We'll yeah. stain him like a brown. We have some brown stain we have bought. Yeah, keep it the wood because the same color will Where's the eventually dogs at? stain the deck. Still Where'd they go? There. Oh, okay. She's still looking for that little hole that she thought she knew about. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, girl. Come here. Good girl. Come here. Good girl. Good boy, Cooper. Oh, Come here, guys. Puppies. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it's a good girl. You're a happy girl now. We love our giants. Oh, yes. What's it now, doing? Cooper, look, look. He's okay. trying to get in. He the went house. to the door. He's yeah, he wants to go into the house. Of course he does. Look at it. Look how happy they are. See that, guys? See them running around? Very happy. Yes, very happy. Yeah. Let's show everybody the other gate. We didn't film all of it because, you know, we were trying to get this done quickly. And and whatever. Um, yeah. But so we have this other gate, um, right. which is going to lead us into where we're going to keep the billy goats and, you know, the girl goats. And then at night, we'll keep the dogs in here once we finish fencing it off so they can be between the goats and the chickens and such you know or we can leave it open so they can roam all free yeah but because eventually we'll finish fencing the back side as well so that'll be huge it. yeah you're the good girl they're finally coming to fix our septic yeah finally uh sometime later. this week yeah, this week they're yeah. supposed to come. That's what their email told me on Friday. Yes. That they would come this week. Yeah, it's a good boy. Cooper's a good boy. He's happy. He's happy. See, I told you I let you out. Okay? I told you. I told you I let you out. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet dog. Oh, he's such a lover. Good boy. So, there what? you go. What? Now they can only all be outside and play and enjoy okay. and yeah. they're fenced in. So. Yeah. It's yeah, poking but it, me. But Are you poking me in the butt, Cooper? <laughs> it's just pretty funny because, you know, I mean, Billy is like a little He's small right here. dog. No, yeah. Chicho. Billy's a little small dog. <laughs> Okay. Well, uh, well, it's getting dark, so we'll go in and uh, maybe make this another video. Because, yeah. uh, like I said, I didn't get all of the build of the gates, but you get the idea. It's, you know, it's not any biggie. Um, but it, no, it is a biggie. It well, it's a biggie because we needed to contain yeah, our so dogs. Yeah, so it is a biggie. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, one of the things I'm always joking with Mo is um, 
It might not be a biggie for our subscribers, but things like this are a biggie for us and for our property and for our progression into where we want to go. So, you know, we, we don't necessarily film all of it just because we don't think it might entertain you, but it has to get done. So it's done and it's nice because now our right. animals are get, getting to have more freedom. You know, soon we'll, we'll close up the back end so we can have Domino and his two little brothers back there together. You know, we'll be planting our garden. So excited. I've got the garden plants going, you know, with all those seeds that you lovely guys sent us. So it's going to be nice. Yeah. Yeah. February right. is going to be garden time for me. I'm going to be planting that garden while Mo is doing his build. So. Getting cold, so yeah, I'm it's go cold. Inside, time to go inside and have some eat, dinner. Take a shower. <laughs> it's been nice chatting with y'all. Peace, okay. health, and happiness. Always take care, guys. Ciao. See you in the next one.